Hi, here's, here I am again with another um, episode of Mom's Creative Moments and our advent calendar. Um, it's getting close to Christmas now. I hope you have most of your shopping done. Um, we're going to go ahead and open our third batch of a week's worth of these embellishments and take a look at um, what we were able to create with those. Um, I keep saying what we've been able to create, but really it's just me. So um, I know that's kind of that um, Queen's English, I guess. But here we go. We got a beautiful little angel and an and sign. So typically we say Merry Christmas. And what do you think is next? Here we go. Let's see. An H. Mm, I have an idea. There's a pretty little snowflake ornament. And then we've got a poinsettia flower and the letter A. I can make a guess, I bet you can too. And then we've got a P and these cute little candles I have a lot of candles that put out this time of year I don't know about you oh and look at that we've got another pea and a cute little gnome do you do, you do gnomes at your house at Christmas I really haven't gotten into doing gnomes at Christmas but I know that a lot of people do I'm not opposed to them by any means. I just haven't really been. Them. And then there's a Y, happy. I think we know what's coming. And there's a present. One more for the 21st. And we've got a cute little wreath and a two because we really only have four more days. So I think that's pretty easy to guess what's coming, but that's all right. It's, it's still fun. All right, so let's set this calendar aside and see what we're, we've been able to come up with here. All right. So you'll notice amongst our three cards here that are built again on uh, pieces from our mat pack that match the Joy to the World collection, just like all of these um, embellishments match the Joy to the World collection. Um, you'll notice that there is one uh, piece that's missing. I did not include the gnome in this. Um, he um, He's going to be included in our last set of um, of cards so don't worry he will get represented but um, just for you I should I um, can tell you this is two mats this is the stripedy green one you'll notice there's a pretty red green and gold stripedy mat this is uh, the green one and it is cut down it, what these are five by seven mats that I have down here I cut it down so that it could frame a portion of this mat, um, which was one of the smaller mats in the collection. We added the flower and the snowflake because they seemed appropriate for this paper. And it makes a really lovely card. And um, I probably would write something across this like happy holidays or Merry Christmas, um, joy to the world, something like that. Um, here's another Christmas tree, a little bit smaller than the one that we used the first week um, and then the gift at the bottom of the tree and the wreath on the tree. It's, this is backed with um, bronze shimmer paper and it just gives it a little bit added touch and brings brings out the golder tones in the star and the, and the gift. And then um, I also used the bronze shimmer to back this present and added the candle and the angel because the tones and the colors were similar. It just looks nice to me. All right, so there's your three cards for this week. And I hope that you're finding ways, even in this hectic holiday season, to um, make creative moments with your family and enjoy 
and relax because that's what the holidays are supposed to be for. I know it's hard. Every year it gets busier, but um, just keep trying. Keep trying to make those creative moments happen. We have four more days. I'll see you after Christmas. Oh, and if you haven't caught it already, um, I'm also going to have videos on 12, the 12 layouts for Christmas. So um, take a look at those and hopefully that'll help you get your pages for Christmas done also. Thanks so much. Merry Christmas.